So here we have a situation where uh, we're getting $2 per unit for the first 40, and then it goes up to $2.50 per unit for any extra units uh, produced in that day. Now the question wants to know what's the greatest number of units that Greg could have possibly produced in one of the two days. So if we want to maximize the number of units in one of the days, we'll need to minimize the number of units in the other day. Now we are told that, the, uh, that he produced at least 30 units each day, so minimizing would mean make one of the days exactly 30. Now remember with 30 units, that's $2 per unit, that's 60 bucks. Meaning that the remaining $120, because it was a total of 180, right? so 60 are spoken for, we have another $120 to be made in the day with a larger number of units made. So how do you make $120 if you have Greg's job? Well, you'd have to first produce 40 at $2 a piece, so that's 80, leaving you another $40 to produce those extra pieces, those extra units after 40. Now we get $2.50 per unit there. So $40 divided by two and a half dollars, that would be the same as 40 divided by five halves, which is the same as 40 multiplied by two fifths. So you can reduce the five with a 40 and you end up with eight times two is 16. So this means that on the day on which Greg produced more units, he produced the 40 to get the 80 bucks and they produced another 16 units to get another 40 bucks. So 40 plus 16, that's 56. So the maximum possible number of units that Greg could have produced in one of those days is 56 and the correct answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.